right. Ready to go? Yes. All right. It's a uh, casual little weekend over here. Still in my soft clothes. Boom. So you can see. Crushing a Waterloo coconut. Not paid by these folks, but I'd be okay if I was. We <laughs> drink this by the gallon. I'm going to show you quick and simple my bread. Stick with me here. So I just wanted to prove I'm quick having and simple too. my breadcrumb technique. Um, breadcrumbs are a great thing to have on hand. Um, they keep a long time. So this is a little mason jar of the last batch of breadcrumbs I made. I probably made this three weeks ago. They're still fresh and crunchy as ever. Um, they're great on salads, on top of beans. Um, on top of pasta dishes, breadcrumbs are a great thing to have on hand. So I'm going to show you how I do it. This is the end of a loaf that we didn't finish and it's too hard to really enjoy or to make toast out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bread knife, again the serrated edge, and I'm going to cut a thin piece off of this loaf. You got to put some back into Seriously. it. Seriously. Um, then I'm going to take my chef's knife here, my sharper knife, and I'm just going to kind of go through this, cutting these little strips as if it were, a, you know, a vegetable that you're cutting up, right? Then I'm going to take half. I like to do these in like squares, little cubes, so for a bigger crunch. If you like a more pureed breadcrumb, then at the end of this whole thing, you can um, you can throw them through the through the food processor. So anyway, I'm gonna um, just kind of chop work work my way through these. Maybe not the greatest knife skills known to man, but <laughs> you know, I fucking I do I do what I can. Yeah, this little size is so easy to. Uh incorporate in your perfect bite. Exactly. So I've already done a whole bunch before this. I filled a whole little uh, quart container here. So I'm gonna throw those in there and then I'm just gonna show you the rest of the technique. So come with me, please. I had a cast iron skillet over here. Um, this is Smithy Ironware. They make these up in North Charleston. I've just had it on low heat so that I can start to get the whole thing hot. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. How long did you have it on though? Well, just for the last several minutes, okay. just to kind of bring it up to temp. I'm gonna put my breadcrumbs in there. I'm not gonna put the whole batch, but I'm gonna cover the bottom like so. Right, so those are gonna start going. What I'm gonna do then is pour a lot of olive oil all over these things. So these are basically crunchy olive oil croutons. Mm. You wanna give enough olive oil to kind of soak up Soak all the pieces of bread. I'm gonna take some salt, coarse, coarse kosher salt, sprinkle that over, and then chili flakes, a go-to in the house. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that pretty much everything that I make has chili flake in it. So these are great on top of Caesar salad, radicchio salad on top of some soups. Um, again, if you pulse them in the food processor when you're finished um, and make a finer breadcrumb, it's great over pasta, clam pasta, um, so on and so forth. So you can already hear the sizzle. You can hear that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, with my spoon, start to push these around the cast iron. Mm. And you can see there's a lot of olive oil. It's there kind of in the bottom but these are basically gonna fry in the olive oil. So this is like, this is sort of like a ton, a ton of the little mini versions of the toast that I made. Um, so it's gonna get crunchy, oily, salty. You have the spice from the chili flake and uh, it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna continue to kinda work with these and we'll be back in a few minutes to show you the final product. Okay, we're back. All right, I've been working on these breadcrumbs, pushing them around the pan. Check out the beautiful mm. caramelized color we're working with. You get wow. all those toasty bits. And I've just had the heat, if you look, it's been on low. So I just had it on low, it took about 10 minutes, just kind of worked them around the pan consistently. And uh, these are looking great. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
turn the heat off. So you were stirring them pretty much the whole time, like keeping them moving? Yeah, I work them pretty much the whole time. In the beginning, I'll maybe leave them for a minute, come back, move them around again. But uh, yeah, you're wanting to try to get an even toast across the board. So these are, these are done. It was very zen for me to sit here and listen to you do it for 10 minutes. It was very nice, right? <laughs> it was very zen for me to make these. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to um, transfer these now to a cut, uh, to a uh, sheet tray that I have with some uh, paper towels on it. That's just going to catch any excess oil that the breadcrumbs didn't catch. Um, you don't want to store these with all that oil. Um, so you're just going to kind of put them like that to cool on a paper towel. Um, leave those until they're down to room temp. And then you're gonna package those up in a uh, glass ball jar with a lid, something like this. Like I said, that's our last batch. And I keep them on the counter whenever you need to reach for texture and you maybe don't wanna use a nut, it's a great way to add texture to, uh, to a dish. So those are my breadcrumbs, rock on.